Okay, everyone, I just want y'all to know this is like my 12th time uploading this. And as some of you probably noticed, one of these uploaded a little while ago. And I thought it was the right one, but it was the wrong one that uploaded. So I had to take it down. And I think I deleted the one that was supposed to be up. So I am now recording it all over again. It is like my 12th time recording this. Because I think a couple of times I went over. So let me get started. These right here or journal cards that I made for my Project Life journal card swap that I am hosting. And I just want to say that I absolutely loved making these journal cards. I had so much fun and I just, you, you ever just find something and you know that it's for you? Well, Project Life is for me. I love it. Um, it doesn't take as much time as to me as doing a layout. I still love my layouts, but... I really do like Project Life as well. So I will be hosting these swaps probably every other month. The next time I do it, I'll do it a little differently. This time I had people join and you just say how many groups you wanted to do. I did a 4 by 6 size and a 3 by 4 size. Next time what I will do is I will have a 3 by 4 and a 4 by 6 And let's say 10 people join a 4 by 6 so that means that we'll make 10 journal cards. If 20 people join the 3x4 groups, then we'll make 20 3x4 sides. I'll do it that way. Because most people wanted to join just about all other groups anyway. So And plus, I wanted one of each. But that's another story. So um, I didn't join all the groups because there were so many people that wanted to be more. And I wanted to give everyone a chance to you know join as many groups as they wanted to. So, without further ado, let me show you the the journal cards that I made and also some of the items that I used to make these cards. Um, I did ask before making a Halloween one, did anyone um, not celebrate Halloween or believe in it? And no one responded. So, I did go ahead and I made a Halloween one since Halloween is coming up. I thought this would be cute to go along with those um, pages or, you know, uh, Project Life items that you want to you know, journal and make with the Project Life form. So I thought this was cute. Most of my journal cards do have some type of speech bubble on them since that's like one of the latest things in um, Project Life. So this one said boo to you. And I do like how this turned out. And some of them have like different color eyes. And on this one, I used a MFT hexagon, I mean, not a hexagon, a chevron die. I used a Martha Stewart punch here. This actually came from a dollar stamp that I got in a rack from my Nika, and I used two different sets of googly eyes, which I purchased these from Michaels last year. I'm not even sure if they carry them this year, but I bought quite a few last year and tried to stock up because just in case they didn't have them this year. So that's what I use for that. For this one right here, I used this Close to My Heart stamp set that was um, kind of created, I guess, for the basis of Project Life. And I used three different stamps from that. Everything you see is a stamp. So I love this one. And every day is an adventure. I thought that this can like go with just about anyone's Project Life page. I tried to pick colors that was girly or you can actually put them on boy pages as well. And most of my cards, you do not have, it does not have any journaling on the actual card. Um, your Project Life cards can either have journaling or um, you could just have, you know, have embellishments on it to go with other pieces that you might have. On all of my Project Life journal cards, I will make a note with this on the back, just stating that um, my information on here, saying that Rashida's Project Life journal card swap, when it was, which was October 2012, my YouTube name and my Instagram name, because some people follow me on Instagram and YouTube. So, I'll put that information on here. And this is for my last group of three by fours this one i think is my favorite i absolutely love this one i use that same chevron die from mft i use this speech bubble stamp set from studio calco which i love which is like 
everyone is trying to find this one right here. This is like gold if you have one. Because so many people want it and love it. I used a Ali Edwards stamp set here. Which is an older one. I'm not even sure if they still sell this one here. And then I used one of the new Studio Calco October add-on stamps. Which is adorable. So, I used some twine. I just like the colors in this one. I love, love, love the colors. And for my last one, I actually have to go and put um, my information on the rest of them. I'm going to try to make them the color of some of the cards. So, like the Christmas one, I wrote it in red. The Halloween's going in purple. And I think the yellow and blue one, I'm going to write the yellow ink. And then this one, I think I'll do a green ink. And this one is my 4 by 6 I did this on Christmas Eve because Christmas is coming up. So I used one, a stamp set from the Mama's Eye 12 Days of Christmas. I used this Seasons Greeting stamp set right here. The Sentiment right here. Then I used the MFT die here. And then one of the stamps that went with that die say Capture at this moment. It will never be repeated. And then I use some paper. I just cut out with a circle. There is another circle dot that goes with this set. And I use that just to put um, a little decoration in the middle. I use some twine here. And then I hear the button. So this is a 4 by 6 size. And I love it. So these are my 4 cards that I made for my swap. And I didn't make one for myself. I made four of each just to give to the people who are in my group. Each group was assigned at least five people to a group. So those are my cards that I made for my journal card swap. I hope you all like them. Well, let me know what you think about it. And I also have one other thing. For people who participated in a journal card swap, if you would like to make attach a video response to this you can if you want to upload your journal cards in one location so everyone that's participating can see you are more than welcome to do a video response here and just attach it if you are not familiar with how to do that just inbox me and i will let you know how to attach your video to my video so um, I believe that is it for right now. If anyone has any questions, just, you know, inbox me and I'll let you all know what is going on. So I hope you all are having a good evening and I hope you like my cards that I made for my Project Life Swap. Thank you. Bye-bye.